All right, guys, coming at you with another video today on this Wednesday morning. Um, I have a day off today, and today I wanted to make kind of a video that I haven't really made, actually, is in, um, I want to talk about how I dealt with my depression. Um, I want to say dealt is in past tense because I really feel like I've gotten over most aspects of depression um, and I don't really feel those bouts of sadness or um, obviously we're not always going to be happy all the time, but there is definitely a different state of depression um, and how you feel and how you do things. So to start off, I just kind of listed a few things to make this a little more organized, things that kind of caused my depression. And I think the number one thing was relationships. So there's three relationships that I'd like to talk about. Um, both coming out of college, kind of the, the give you a baseline of kind of when it happened was right after I graduated college, so around three years ago. Um, there was one relationship that was not healthy whatsoever. Um, I kept giving the person chances. They ended up cheating on me. I gave them a second chance, and it just it just was awful. Um, I just kind of felt like I was the minority in the relationship. I just got kicked around, and I didn't know what I was doing because it was kind of my first official relationship. And people get taken advantage of, and that's just unfortunate. And I, personally, like, I, I don't disrespect, I don't like taking um, too much authority in relationships because I don't, I don't feel like that's right. Um, I like it to be even. Um, and I'm trying to figure out kind of what I want in a relationship. And these kind of, they all gave me experiences, but that, it wasn't pleasant. And eventually it just ended, but it was just physically exhausting and emotionally exhausting. And I was frustrated, crying, didn't know what to do, parents were against it, friends were against it, but I kept going back and it just so frustrating. Second relationship, this one lasted on and off throughout college. Um, the fact of the matter is, is, is as just one party, like I was just so much more invested than the other. Um, and regardless of like um, what happened and stuff like that, it's just, the, I mean, we're still good friends to this day. It just, it, I put a lot more effort into it and it just didn't pan out and I just wasted a lot of time putting in a ton of effort not realizing that the other party really wasn't that invested so that really 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 was frustrating um, and uh, the third relationship this is kind of post but this is kind of a relapse um, this was around six months ago um, or nine months ago when it started I was a good relationship, but the fact of the matter was it, um, she just wanted to do something different with her life and I figured, okay, well, if you're going to do those kind of things, move away, like, I don't think this is feasible to, to, for it to continue. Other factors were that her parents didn't even think I was the right one for her before I even met her. She didn't even think I was the right one for her kept saying that kind of stuff and I didn't want to be around that negativity so it was slightly mutual um, obviously it for me it it was directed that it wasn't mutual and that's fine I mean whatever so that and that was that was kind of after the fact so kind of going back after college and I'll kind of I'll explain the timeline so um, that last one I talked about was like six months ago but leading into depression um, I really, I was at an accounting job and I didn't really like what I was doing um, coming out of the second relationship that I was talking about. Um, I was I was doing something that I really wasn't that good at and I think, you know, we f try to focus on things, you know, we, 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 we run after the money but if we're not really good at something, there's no point in pushing for it. I mean, there really isn't. Like, you, you the goal in life is to perfect the things you're good at um, and I just... I just didn't do a very good job at that. I kept pushing towards a job that I didn't really like. And going into the summer after I graduated, I was just, I was miserable working the hours that I was working. Um, the coworkers were okay, but I, I simply really wasn't that good at what I was doing and I didn't really enjoy it. Um, third, my diet. My diet was absolutely awful. Um, I just, I would eat so much sugar and carbs and processed foods and fast food and stuff and eventually you know I started to cut back towards the end of college but it's still I think it still kind of 
uh, started to just build up and build up and build up and my body, even though I have an extremely fast metabolism, still wasn't good for me. I wasn't running efficiently. I was tired all the time. I was crashing all the time. It was just awful. Um, and also kind of my phone, uh, that's the fourth one I have. Like I use the phone so much. I mean, I, I am borderline addicted to it. Um, but I definitely put more value on like like messaging and stuff like that and talking with people and I'd let things, you know, I was that person, you know, that would double text kind of thing. I'd freak out um, and, I, and sometimes I still do, but those, those kind of things like they wear over your head and you have so much stress, you're waiting for that person to reply or you're just, you're too invested in it and you're not really engaged in the outside world. And it's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for you whatsoever. And that ended up building over time and dealing with the relationships and stuff like that. Like the phone was definitely not helping. And then finally, um, the last one was, I, I listed productivity, but that's just because I, at, at this time I had, I had graduated college. I moved back in with my parents just for the year. Um, and that just wasn't really the best decision for me. You know, I like being around people. I like having roommates. I love my parents, but I didn't feel like I was fulfilling myself. I wasn't productive. You know, I was just playing a lot of video games. I was just hanging out in the basement. Like I really wasn't doing much to assist myself. I wasn't doing anything to better myself. I really wasn't working out that much. I really wasn't that active. You know, I really wasn't focusing on other things that maybe I could be successful at. And that all in turn in July of 2016, um, had my first panic attack where I just, I stood up. I remember I was watching, uh, oh, what is it? It's with uh, Will Smith, um, iRobot. And I remember getting up, walking, and then just pa oh, pretty much passing out. And from then on, I started, you know, dealing with these symptoms of head pressure and pain and these things started to accumulate over time and they were terrible. I had every symptom under the sun. Um, head pressure was one of the big ones. I had an MRI, I had blood test, I had a CT scan. Uh, just a lot of chronic stress that I thought something was wrong with me um, and I just, I, I felt alone. Um, I would, I, and this lasted probably a good year, year and a half, um, probably up to two years, I'd say, of just dealing with this on and off and on and off and on and off. And it was just, it was windows and waves. It was, you know, I'd just come home and just feel meaningless, um, lifeless. I'd feel numb. I just didn't really enjoy what I was doing. Um, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was being productive. I didn't feel like I was being, um, I didn't have a purpose in life. Um, and it just, it, it got to where I just, the rock bottom sense. Um, there, there's moments where I felt like I hit rock bottom, many, many moments, and that's the sad part. Where just over and over and over, I was go, okay, okay, I can't go any lower than this. Um, and, you know, I started to figure out, you know, what I need to do to kind of fix this. So, Productivity, we'll start from the bottom and go back up. For productivity, I definitely started to work out a lot more. Um, I've done some more research. I did YouTube. Um, YouTube was a really good thing for me to do, um, to figure out side odd jobs and stuff like that for me to do. Um, I really started to be more proactive in my job. I got a new job, which I'll talk about. But in this job, I'm much more proactive. I'm much more invested. I want to be there. I want to succeed. I really like the people I'm around. I'm really focusing on myself, posture, um, fixing that and working on that, um, standing up straight, um, stretching more, um, and, and doing things to better myself. Um, and, you know, meditate, do yoga, stretch, like I said, use essential oils, um, a lot of things that really, really benefit me. Um, I still definitely going to the phone, I uh, definitely use it, but you know, I've used things like do not disturb, you know, I, I, I don't play as many games on my phone anymore, um, I'm not really invested as much as far as like going on my phone and using it that much, like occasionally I remember like going on like 
dating apps and talking to some people, but at the end of the day, I just I want to find someone in person and talk with someone in person. I just I, fi I find that more real. Um, and, and because of YouTube too, I've really focused on you know even the Facebook aspect, talking to people um, who um, have issues and want to reach out. Um, and I've definitely used Facebook as that. I've used YouTube as that. Um, and different electronics get a hold of people and kind of pump them up, if you will. Um, and then diet. Diet, I really pushed towards lower sugar and lower carbs. That's really what I focused on. More keto-ish. But the fact of the matter is, is, is there is so much sugar. Sugar is so much more addicting than any other substance. Um, and 90% of our foods have it. Um, and staying away from sugar can be really frustrating, can be really difficult to do, but I guarantee you, you'll feel so much better. I look around my coworkers and all of them are having energy drinks, sugar and stuff like that. You're not going to feel good throughout the day if you're just pounding your body with terrible stuff. Like, um, along with diet, it just gave me better sleep. Um, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot more energy throughout the day. Uh, less inflammation, so less head pressure, which is one of the main topics I've talked about on this channel. Um, I feel better about myself because I'm treating my body a little bit better. I feel like overall I don't get as sick as often. I feel that I am, um, I have a better mood. I have less mood swings, less crashes and stuff like that. Um, and Basically, like I said, less sugar, less carbs, and I've heightened, I've moderate protein diet, high in fats. Um, I, I take a vitamin D supplement kind of during the winter and a daily vitamin here and there, but that's, that's about it. I mean, I really, really focus on just keeping everything pretty clean. Um, and then up to two, jobs. So I transitioned to a different job, um, more of a sales aspect instead of accounting, and I really, really enjoy where I'm at. Um, I've got promoted four times in the past six months, which has been awesome. Um, I've, I've been working hard to keep improving myself, um, keep becoming a better person, working with people, making my way up to a pretty much endless ladder. Um, and I'm really excited for what's to come um, because I, I really like thoroughly enjoy being at my job. Um, schedule sometimes a little bit of a grind, but I, no one will never know what a grind is unless you're an accountant or, or people that work 80 hour work weeks. I don't know other people, I know doctors do, but um, it's definitely a, a grind. And, and this job is a grind too, but I enjoy the people I'm around. I get to play a lot of golf. Um, I get to be around a lot of people. I get to celebrate with them. In fact, I'm, I'm possibly moving in with a few of them, coworkers, which will be awesome. Um, and I'm really looking forward to um, what is to come. Whereas at my accounting job beforehand, it was just, it was awful. I didn't enjoy it whatsoever. I was just miserable. I didn't really know what I was doing that much. I just didn't really excel in it. And I definitely excel more at this job. Um, and then finally relationships, like I got into a better relationship around nine months ago, like I was discussing. This is going back to the third relationship, which really was, was, was fulfilling for the most part in the beginning um, and, and definitely kind of took a lot of the stress away because, you know, like everyone gets lonely here and there and they really enjoy being around different people and, and I definitely enjoy being in a relationship where they're happy and I definitely say that like it was one of the best that I've had, although like at the end of the day, like, and this is kind of where the little bit of a relapse came in for a little bit there because I was just really stressed out. Um, probably around February, March, because um, it ended. And it was more so the fact that like, you know, like I said, she wanted to do something different with her life. And I really wasn't too much on board with uh, such a dram dramatic change. Um, I wasn't on board of being told that I wasn't good enough over and over and over again. And I wasn't really on board of a of, of person that like, you know, she was definitely supportive, but at the same time too, uh, just a little bit, just brutal um, as far as just, just the person. She's just, yeah, I, I don't really want to speak too much on it because, I mean, people could definitely watch this video, but I, I don't condone any of it. I hope the best for all the people that I've dated. 
and I and most of them are quite successful and I really really want them to be happy like I really do um, it's just unfortunate that it didn't work out between some of us that you know it just wasn't meant to be um, and maybe things change down the line but um, after that I kind of figured out you know what like people really aren't getting like married until later. Like I have a lot of time. I always got really anxious and being like, and I'll, I'll bouts of it where I really want to be in a relationship. But the reality is like, it's going to come when it's going to come. Like it'll be unexpected. Um, and we'll go from there. Like I'm excited for it. Um, and I've really accepted that I've accepted, you know, that pain's going to be in my life that I'm going to feel pain. Um, I've accepted the fact that, you know, I'm going to feel sad here and there. It's it's the acceptance is one of the biggest things that's helped me through depression is the fact that I'm not going to feel great all the time, but I can choose my attitude. I can choose the way I want to live my day. Um, and, and I have the power of that. And if, if I choose to have a good day, I'm going to have a good day. Um, and I have a lot of potential. I have a lot to offer too. Um, I really do. And I don't want to be arrogant or anything like that, but I definitely want to be confident. I mean, you know, I'm very humble in some aspects, but I want to be com confident in other aspects. Um, and I think for a lot of people, um, finding a purpose is huge. I guess going over the three things that really helped me, um, purpose is huge. If you find a purpose, whether it's spiritually, whether it's job oriented, if it's goal oriented, you have to find a purpose in life because if you don't have a purpose, then what is your point of living? Um, I think the second one is really understanding that it, like it's, it's, this world isn't sunshine and rainbows. It really isn't. It's not fair. It really isn't. It's not fair at all. Um, but, but you can make it the best you can make it. You don't have to just sit there and, and pout about it because, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Things are going to be great that come into your life and things are going to be awful that come into your life. And third, I really think that that genuine human connection and being around your peers and really using each other um, and being around positive people are a huge factor in your life. If you are around people that just aren't aren't really affecting your life in a positive way, get out. Relationships, get out. If it's a wife, get out. If it's if it's family, get out. I mean, at the end of the day, you only have one life to live. And if there's, if there's things that are holding you back, whether it's um, people, things, um, drugs, alcohol, stuff like that, you've got to change it. If you're going to make drastic changes, you have to make drastic change in your life. Um, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to put it dealt because I really felt feel like that I have I've, I've overcome most aspects of depression. Um, I'm, obviously, we all deal with anxiety and stuff like that as well. But um, I personally really have become a lot more level-headed since that day in July of 2016. Um, and there's been ups and downs throughout the way, but. I guarantee you I am so much better than I was even even like feelings wise like how I felt my health overall my mental health my mental grit um, is much better than it ever was even before college even in college you know when I didn't worry about these kind of things so hope you guys enjoy this video I really appreciate the support I really appreciate the comments and stuff like that um, I'm trying to post a little more videos that are more appealing I definitely have, have, have seen that there's a little less engagement and if you made it all the way to this video at the end of this video I really appreciate it um, and I and I think that's that's mainly because I've just not really uploaded much and I'm doing videos that are a little bit off topic but are things that are I'm passionate about so this one is definitely going to be a longer video obviously we're at 19 minutes right now but I really do appreciate your feedback I hope you guys kind of watch the timeline and I, I hope that it really helps you out so have a great day guys peace